So it has been a while since I have done a video on the EXA app and I was just in here uh, the other day and I noticed a couple things that are new that I didn't even know about. So I figured if I didn't know, maybe some other people didn't know. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. Like I said, this video is going to be just about the EXA app and some new stuff that it has in it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the energy dashboard. So if we tap on that, you can see uh, it kind of keeps track of all of your devices and estimates the total energy that they are using and then lets you know if you're using more energy or less energy from last week. So this is all 79 of my devices and how much energy they're using. And then how does that compare from either last month or last week? So you can see our energy usage is a little bit down, which is good. And you can also look at the time, how long they were being used. And you could look at just lights. So you could go to lights, we have 41 lights. You go to just plugs, we have six of those. And you can go to just switches, and we got 32 of those. So that is pretty cool that you can kind of keep track of your energy. I'm not exactly sure how accurate it is, but basically it knows which device is connected. Um, you can also look at individual devices. So if, if we went in here and we went to say bar light, we use this one quite a bit. Um, and you can see um, how much you use that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So definitely Wednesday and Thursday are the high usage days. Tap on month and see when you used it in the month. You can look at your average cost um, and all this different stuff here. So it's pretty neat. It's just a neat feature. There's nothing you need to do to start using this. It's automatically going to start working for you as long as you have the EXA app connected to your devices. So most of my devices are in SmartThings and then they flow over to the EXA app. Now we're gonna go back out of the energy dashboard and I wanna show you a couple settings in the actual Echo devices themselves. So I'm gonna go here and these are just my devices. So I'm just gonna to go to the Echo office because that's where I am right now and tap that. And you can go up to the settings cog in the upper right corner. And what we want to look at here, the new things that we have, wake words. So if we go to wake words, you can see we have a new one added. So we have the EXA, we got Amazon, Computer, Echo, and now we have Ziggy. So now we can choose Ziggy and now we can use that as our wake word. All right, now that is updating. We can go out of that. And we also have a new voice um, right in here as well. So you can see right here, Alexa voice. If we tap on that, you have original and new. I don't know why they named it so cryptic like this. I would say female and male because the new voice is a male voice. All right, so now we can test out the new voice, Ziggy. What's the weather like today? In Myrtle Beach, it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Tonight, you can look for clear skies with a low of 66 degrees. So that is the new voice. I changed it actually in our kitchen and my wife did not like it. So we changed it back to the original voice, but I'm gonna start using that on my other devices, see if I can get used to it and also use the new wake word of Ziggy. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you in this video is an improvement on the routines. So if we go into more and then we go to routines, we can create a new routine and let's just enter a routine name. All right, so we just put in test routine and I'm gonna say when this happens. And a lot of your routines are probably going to be based on your voice, you asking for something. So we're gonna tap on voice and we're gonna say, so please run test. And then now you can see there is another option right beneath it that says add another phrase. So this is awesome because you can have multiple phrases to run a single routine. Google Home has had this for quite a while and it's very convenient because if you don't say it exactly perfect, your routine is not going to run and it's going to create a lot of frustration for you and your family members. So I'm just going to tap another one just to test it and just gonna say, talk to me. 
And I'm going to add one more. I like dogs. So we got please run test, talk to me, and I like dogs. And that is all we need to do there. So if I say any of these three phrases, it's going to execute the routine. And now we're going to do an action at the bottom here. And we're just going to say Alexa says, customized, and then just type in what we want her to say when we run the routine. All right, so this is a test routine with multiple voice triggers. Cool, right? So we're just going to tap on next there and tap on next. And there you go. Our test routine is here. And it says that it may take up to one minute to be finally ready to use. So I'm just going to wait a little bit of time here just to be sure that we are good. And then we will test the routine by using those three different voice triggers. And we will be using the new voice using the new wake word, Ziggy. Please run test. This is a test routine with multiple voice triggers. Cool, right? There you go. So that worked. Ziggy, talk to me. This is a test routine with multiple voice triggers. Cool, right? So you can see it's exactly the same, but we said something completely different. And now the last one, which is way different. Ziggy, I like dogs. This is a test routine with multiple voice triggers. Cool, right? So you can see that is very handy because you can put in like variations of how you want to run a routine. Obviously you would not want to have them completely different um, how I did here, but say if you wanted to say open the garage door, you could say open the garage door and open garage door. So that way, if you said either of those, it would still run the routine. So I hope you found that video helpful. I think these are some pretty cool updates in the Exa app. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I read and respond to every single comment. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.